Good morning! I am finally opening a very exciting box from uh, the Museum of the American Revolution. I am part of a project called the True Colors Project and I'm going to be making a flag. Um, I have portrayed a flag maker, Rebecca Flower Young, previously and I've looked at a fabulous 18th century flag at the National Museum of the American Indians Cultural Resource Center. And the flag I'm making is a lot like the flag I looked at at the NMAI. So this is day one of starting and I'm going to start with unboxing. It's a fairly big sized box, but it's a pretty big flag when it's finished. So I know that there should be wool bunting in here. And I know that there are some samples for me to work with. Voila! The uh, first task is going to be creating samples to photograph, to demonstrate how this works. The way that the flags are constructed is using a French seam rather than a felled seam. That's going to involve a long running seam, which is in this case the top seam, yeah, top, well, top row of stitching and then folding it, folding the allowance over, tucking it under, and stitching it again. Huzzah for twice. But that way, you know it's not going to blow, blow apart, fly apart in the wind, which would be a considerable uh, concern for a ship at sea. And here we are, British Ensign. We won't comment on the brand of uh, UPS in sight. USPS. Oh boy. One thing that's immediately noticeable when in contrast to a um, historic flag, period flag, is the brightness and richness of the wool, the wool, the red. It's just kazam, um, which is kind of exciting. All of the pieces have been pre-cut for me by the gallery interpretation manager, Tyler Putman. And it's gonna get kinda sporty with these corners, but that should be a satisfying challenge. It's, it's a big project. It's gonna take some time, but as I go along, I'll be creating videos and taking photographs to document my progress. Some of it will happen here in my crazy period uh, room with my trusty iron and enough natural light. Eventually it's going to be so big that I'm going to need to move outside where we'll get to enjoy wildlife along with the sewing. But in the meantime, I'm actually less overwhelmed by the quantity of wool than I thought I would be. And I'm going to hope that that's a good thing and I'm not tricking myself. Wow, I'm excited to get started on this and I look forward to communicating with you more via video. Thanks!